Hey. Sweet pit boy, brother. You hold on to that. You're back. The glowing sea. Virgil. What happened? Well, you know, took a radiation bath, hung out with a big green guy, then I pulled this encoded chip out of a courser's neck. He was not happy. A courser chip? You fought a courser? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a courser. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking Institute security. They are called the Railroad. Next stop, the Railroad. Choo-choo! Ah, uh, yes. Anyway, you need a code phrase in order to find them. Follow the Freedom Trail. Good luck. In my secret club, the code phrase is just two words. Awesome and me. Yes, well, that's not going to help you here. But I'm sure someone with your creativity will be able to figure it out. Running from something? Welcome home. Caravan or Raider? What? I said Caravan or Raider. Which are you? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Hi. That's when we Market's the white building with all the fancy columns. Always someone doing trading there. Worst part of being a lookout in the obelisk? Hey. Forgetting your lunch. Load a little heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need, and sell everything you do. You have any paying work? Yeah, I have something. It ain't easy, though. Caravaners just love swapping tall tales. But I've heard one story enough times, there's gotta be some truth to it. Apparently, the Northern Road goes straight through an old military training yard that's just crawling with a horde of feral ghouls. And that's cutting into my bottom line. So you take care of that, and maybe I can throw a few caps your way. I'm not doing the job for chump change. I'm tired of Mercs blowing this off. Are ferals really that scary? Fine. Call it 175 caps. Sounds like you need me a lot more than I need you on this. Clearing that road benefits everyone. I can probably get Kessler to chip in, let's say, 225 caps? If this helps everyone, maybe you can take a collection. For the cause. You're worse than the caravan jockeys. I can probably scrape together 300 caps. I'm done negotiating. How many ghouls we talking about? Who knows? The number keeps growing the more drinks the caravan hands down at the way station. No matter how many of them there are, they're scaring away caravans and customers alike. I already cleared the National Guard training yard. Well, I'll be. 
Take this, then. You might want to talk with Kessla, by the by. She's looking for someone like you. So Deb's been talking you up. Says you get results. I got a sensitive job that needs someone with skills, and more rolling around in their head than marbles. That sound like you? I've had no complaints so far. Really? Where have you been all my life? Our town works because everyone knows we got the Raider Angle covered. The gangs get paid off and leave our caravans alone. But Zeller's army is getting greedy, asking for more caps. And after we pay them, the bastards still hit our people. But I found out the army's holed up in an old prep school. The job's simple. Deal with them. Know anything else about Zeller's army? It took a lot of favors just to get the name of their crash pad. The East Boston Prep School. Judge Zeller runs a strange outfit. Came out of nowhere and now they're players. I don't know what you'll find there. A lot's riding on this job. The pay better reflect that. I ain't gonna haggle on the price. I got a reputation to protect. But I'll throw in some extra supplies if you sign on. Best I can do. Consider Zeller's army dealt with. These guys are dangerous, so be careful. If there are survivors, rescue them. If any lost caravan hands make their way back into circulation, that'll do wonders for trade. But above all, you're just a freelancer working for yourself. Never even heard of us on the hill, right? Cold steel, angry scowls, lousy haircuts. All the touches I've come to expect from the Brotherhood. Fixed a few power armor mods and gave them to Tegan. You might want to check them out. Proctor Ingram? Oh, this frame is driving me crazy. Got like three itches I can't even scratch. Treat your power armor well, and it can get you through anything. No matter how many battles we win, there's always another fight ahead of us. Since, shoot to kill. We don't take prisoners.
Your maiden's out to an early lead, but Peachy Junk's right behind. Don't forget Boston Blaster. He's pulled this out before. What a race! What a race! It's another great day out here at the track. We got some fine bots in this race. I admit it's still in the lead. It's neck and neck. Atomic Dreams is still hanging in there. Jet will make you jittery. <gasps> I guess they were right. Someone there? Hey, Again? found them, and they do not look friendly. Better than expected. I hear someone. Combat position.
up over here. Kessler send you? Zeller's army bastards live.
Someone's not interested in visitors. Bye. One of the prisoners told me what they went through at the prep school. I had no idea. And you did that by yourself, right? Oh, here's the payout. What did the prisoner say about the prep school? Judge Zeller was snatching people and brainwashing them. Like some damn cult. No wonder their numbers exploded. Anything else? Nah. With your help, the roads are a lot safer. Heard you got land of your own. Tell you what, build a safe place for the caravans to stop, and everyone can profit. But either way, you're welcome back to the hill anytime. Hi, I'm Meg. Me new to the hill? For 10 caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. Any chance I can get it for free? Fine. The market's in the back, bar's in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye.
nice. So, oh, that's not right. Hmm, it spins. Oh, so it starts with R?
right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synths' only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. Put down your weapons first. Until I determine you're not a threat, we'll point our weapons wherever we damn well please. Who told you how to contact us? I don't want to get anyone into trouble. We'll find out, one way or another. Last question. Why are you here? I found a Courser chip. Can your people decode it? You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the Courser killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a Courser? Single-handedly? <laughs> oh, that'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this Courser murdering machine a little courtesy, hmm? Just a thought. I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a Courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Oh, yeah, yeah. The little riddles and the decoder ring trick really makes it hard to find you. Anyone that wants to meet us is under surveillance as soon as they follow the Freedom Trail. If you were a threat to our organization, all you'd find here is an empty room. Des, we need to let him in. He's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that! He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. <clears throat> Don't try anything, stranger. Excuse me. We having fun yet? We having fun yet? of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. I can patch you up if you need it, for a small fee. Solving for theta n when i approaches probability bounds. Pam. Processing unknown human entity. Don't try anything, stranger. Don't try anything, stranger. That's in better shape than I expected. Drummer boy said that Deacon was a sick. What, you don't believe Drummer? Deacon's face has been under the knife. Not Man. many doctors have. Hey, Doc. If you need fixing up, let's get a look at how to keep track. Maybe under all that. I need some supplies, Doctor. Let's see what I can spare. Descent. I'm telling you. Listen, he may not even be alive. Tinker said he spent a year as a ghoul. I shit you not. <laughs> Bullshit. Someone said after one of Deacon's face jobs, he was a woman. But, uh, I hate it. He just you need something? Tom, no our visitor way. here has a courser chip. The point Whoa! Is, for no real? Who, oh man, it's what? been ages! Right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, everyone's he gets all the you've been chip. hitting the cams way too hard. But I got my eyes open. Why I've do you want the courser chip? Institute tech is light years beyond what we have. And a courser chip is top of the line. I'm not gonna get into details, but that chip could help us save lives. 
maybe throw a wrench in some of the Institute's operations. So, hand over the chip. Fine. It's yours. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsa chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh, man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh, man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be... Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait. They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Software in. Come on. Show me that sweet face. Come on. Here we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear. If you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. If we're going to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? I've heard rumors. What are they, really? The Institute created them. Synthetic humans. They're mostly organic, part machine. Somewhere along the line, they became more than just constructs. They think, they feel, and they act just like you and me. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Aren't synths just machines? And machines are tools. They started that way. But if it's impossible to tell a single difference between a synth and a human, they must be treated the same. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Could you elaborate? Answer with your gut on this. Your heart. If you had to put yourself in danger to save a synth, would you do it? No, probably not. No shame in that. Every person needs to know what they're willing to die for. It might be best if you kept your distance from us. Not for our sake, but for yours. The Institute wouldn't hesitate to torture and kill you for what you know. Deacon can show you out. We'll file out separately after you leave. Best not to attract attention. Excuse me. So you answered the big question and took a pass. Dez is a hardliner, a live and die for the cause kind of lady. But the truth isn't so cut and dry. Listen, are you interested in the railroad? Learning more? Maybe joining? I thought she turned me away, though. It's complicated. Would Des like every Tom, Dick, and Harriet to be here only to help synths? Yes, absolutely. But we live in the real world. And here, we can't turn down help. We need every able body we can get. So, you interested? I don't really know. Let's see how much common ground we got then. I get you don't want to take a bullet for a synth, but you... 
willing to brave some danger to stop the Institute and their nefarious schemes? <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Someone has to stop them. Excellent. Every one of us believes in synths getting a fair chance, but some agents aren't really risking their necks for that. They put their asses on the line to hurt the Institute, and the Railroad's all right with that. And Desdemona is really okay with that? Would Des like every Tom, Dick, and Harriet to be here only to help synths? Yes, absolutely, but we live in the real world, and there, we can't turn down help. We need every able body we can get. Sales pitch over. If you want to walk away, here's your chance. What do you want from me? I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's gonna be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto! Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. We'll file out separately after you leave. <clears throat> Best not to attract Saw attention. some of you work along the trail. Not bad. For a human, that is. For a human? What do you mean? You are born in the Wild Human Model 1.0. You ain't bad for that model. Not in the same league as us since, but... Hey, not your fault. Wait. You're a synth? In the artificial flesh. And before you start with all the questions, the only thing I'll say about it is this. All those rumors out there are bullshit. I'm as real a girl as you'll ever meet. The only difference is, I bet your assembly instructions were a hell of a lot more fun. Listen, you caught us at a shit time. We're still recovering from something I can't get into. We're a man down, though. And if anything Deacon said about you is true, I'd like you on our team. What? You don't believe Deacon? Given what I saw, yeah. He might be the real deal. I know Dez said we don't got room. But talk to Deacon. I'm sure he's got an angle. He always does. Hey. 